Hello, everybody. Once again, it is Tuesday and story time with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, I am Teacher Cole and I'm the owner of Teacher Cole's English Corner. It is an online tutoring company with many international uh, teachers. We teach English, science, social studies, cultural studies in unique and interesting ways so your child will never be bored and always find something entertaining in class. But today we are going to be reading another story. In the spirit of the season of Christmas, I will be doing a series of Christmas stories. And today I will be reading the story, The Little Reindeer. So let's join our littlest reindeer on his fun Christmas adventure. Let's get going, shall we? The Little Reindeer, written by Michael Foreman. The little reindeer wondered what all the fuss was about. He could see the lights blazing in the windows of the snow-covered buildings. Shadowy figures rushed in and out of doorways carrying mysterious bundles. Hmm. The little reindeer picked his way through the deep snow towards the biggest building. As he got closer, he could hear singing and banging and whirring and rustling. This little reindeer peeped around the door into the warm, noisy room. The amazing animals were streaming between rows of singing people. The little reindeer moved further into the room and suddenly found himself being carried along amongst the rest of the animals. He tried to back away, but was pushed forwards by the animals pressing from behind. Suddenly, they all disappeared in a blizzard of colored paper. He was turned over and over in swirling colors. Then it went black and cold and things bumped down on him until he couldn't move. He heard jingling bells and cheering and he felt a great whoosh. For hours they seemed to stop and start and swoop up and down until he was tumbling head over hoofs again. He tried to move his legs and managed to stand up. Although he was relieved to feel the softest of snow beneath his hoofs. He still couldn't see anything. The little reindeer stood in the darkness, surrounded by strange sounds. Then he heard footsteps crunching towards him. Suddenly, he found himself staring at an astonished face and then a smile. Whoa, what a present! The boy picked him up and danced around and round in the snow. But where can I keep you? There are no pets allowed in the building. I know you can stay up here with my pigeons. The boy opened the door of a large shed at one end of the roof. 
immediately the sky filled with birds. In a corner of the shed, the boy made a straw bed for the reindeer and fetched milk and a whole assortment of cereals. Tomorrow, we can try lots of different things to eat and see what you like best. Two by two, the pigeons returned to their perches. They didn't seem to mind the new visitor. Each day, the boy brought food and milk. The reindeer liked peanut butter sandwiches, best of all. While the pigeons flew higher and higher in the sky, the boy and the reindeer strolled around the roof and watched the busy city life below. The weather gradually grew warmer and the little reindeer grew bigger. One day when the boy opened the door to let the pigeons out, the reindeer flew out with them. The reindeer didn't fly far that first time, just across the neighboring building and back. But as the days passed, he flew further and further. The boy was overjoyed. He had told no one about his wonderful Christmas pet because he knew he would not be allowed to keep him. By early summer, the reindeer was big enough to give the boy rides around the roof on his back. Then, one evening, they flew together over the rooftops of the city. They flew together every night of the long summer and over the golden leaves of autumn. When the first snowflakes of winter began to fall, the boy noticed a look of sadness in the reindeer's eyes. The boy hugged him as always, but the reindeer looked up at the swiftly moving gray clouds and sighed. <sighs> the boy knew that only six or seven very special reindeer can fly in each generation. He even knew their names. He knew his reindeer was going to be one of those very special ones. On Christmas Eve, the boy gave the reindeer his favorite dinner and the pigeons sang. They were still singing when he kissed the reindeer goodnight. From his bed, he thought he heard jingling bells but he was probably dreaming by then. Next morning, he rushed up to the roof, but the reindeer had gone. There were sleigh tracks in the snow. When he opened the shed and all the pigeons flew out, the boy saw that each had a red ribbon collar and a little jingle bell. In the reindeer's bed of straw was a note. Dear boy, thank you for looking after my smallest reindeer. See you next year. Love, Santa Claus. Through the next spring, summer, and autumn, the boy heard the tinkling and jingling of bells each time the pigeons flew. And on Christmas Eve, when he heard the real jingle bells coming down from the snowy sky, he was waiting on the roof with milk and peanut butter sandwiches. Well, this has been the end of our story today. What did you think of the littlest reindeer? Is it good to always be curious? What do you do for Santa's reindeer? When I was a child, we would leave out a big trough of water and some carrots. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's story. Feel free to join our Facebook group, Teacher Cole's English Corner, where you can meet some like-minded parents and where we talk about our triumphs, our tribulations, and we have a little bit of fun talking about some fun adventures while learning. This has been another story with Teacher Cole, and I look forward to seeing you next week for a brand new story. Goodbye.